Full of Boys and Girls, today we're going to talk about how we can take our Shepherd Fairy sketch and turn it into more of a Shepherd Fairy design. Now this is my sketch that I brought in um, for, so that way we can work with it. And what I'm going to start out by doing is actually just coloring in each individual part looking at starting with just basic black and white. So I'm, as I do this, I'm going to first just outline everything with black and I'm going to make sure it's filled in white. I'm not going to be filling in any color just yet. So now that I have my design outlined in black and colored in white, now is when I want to think a little bit about what are going to be the colors of this design. So as we have discussed, a lot of Shepherd Fairy designs will include red, a ivory kind of color, and at least three to four different shades of blue. And just to kind of keep it that way, or just to kind of keep it simple, I'm gonna keep it that way. So I'm gonna start out by first doing the fist on the microphone. And I think I'm gonna be doing this with sev the several different shades of blue, or actually it might even be, be better to do it with the red. So I'm gonna actually fill it with like that sort of muted red, so like this dark red one right down here, because even though he's using red, it's usually not like super bright like this. It's usually something that's a bit more toned down. And then what I'm gonna do is, I think for the most part, my microphone is going to be the different shades of blue. So I'm gonna first click on my circle. And since we're doing several different shades of blue, I wanna make sure I've got like a dark blue, like a super dark blue, which I'm gonna make the base of the, the part, this part of the microphone. And everything else is gonna kinda go lighter from there. So like from here, I'm actually going to probably maybe go, maybe go up two shades lighter. And then same thing down here. From here, I might go up another two shades, kind of like that. And since this is like the highlight on the microphone, I might actually do those the cream color. And then these, I might do one more different shade of blue. So I could easily go like super light or I could even go back to like the, a darker color, which I think I might do. And one thing I gotta think about is I should not have any outlines. So I'm gonna make sure that whatever my fill color is, is the same as my outline color. So I'm gonna make sure that each time I do this, I'm gonna make sure to go back once I actually like my design, I'm gonna make sure I go back and I change the outline color. So maybe it's better to not change the outline just yet because you might not like how it looks. But if you do like how it looks, then you should start making sure that your outline fits with your actual interior. So now I have my design, the base of my design right, ready to go. And now is when I would want to make sure I'm looking at maybe a background. So I'm going to first make sure I do, I change up my background color. And I'm gonna probably do like the light cream color cause that's something that I don't have a lot of. And one thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to actually group my whole design. So I go to arrange group. Because what I want to do next is I actually want to put a bunch of lines coming out from the microphone. And to do that, I'm going to need my line tool. 
and I'm going to make sure, and so I'm actually going to use the points that are on the microphone, even though Shepherd Fairy would probably do a lot more points, I'm just kind of going to make it very, very basic. And I'll eventually put those behind and I'm going to change it to the red. So sometimes it'll show me like some points that I can go to and I'm trying to get as close to those points as possible. it a little bit. So these are just some ideas of some lines that I can easily do. I might do a couple more just to kind of give an idea that this is, you know, the idea of like speaking out. Because that is an issue that happens in our world today is just the idea of speaking out. We want to make sure that, you know, we speak out, that our voices are heard. And that's the whole point of my design is I want to show that, you know, my voice is heard. That's good enough. So right now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna select all of my lines and I'm gonna make sure that they're all behind the microphone. So like you see how this one overlaps a bit. I don't want that. Now I go to arrange order, I'm gonna send to back. And now I'm gonna add a border. Now not all of Shepherd Fairy's pieces have a border, but because I want wording in here, I'm gonna add a border. And I'm gonna make sure that this part is nice and thin because I still wanna be able to see my design. Actually, I'm just gonna make it super duper thin because I think I'm gonna do a banner on the inside. I think that'd be better. So I'm gonna go to shapes, I'm gonna go call outs. Here are the banners actually. So I'm gonna get one banner. I'm gonna put it up here. Make it wider. gonna make it that same sort of light blue color that I've already like the lightest blue color that I'm already using and I'm gonna actually duplicate this because I like how that looks so I'm gonna use it again well the thing is it blends in right there so maybe it might even be better to use an even lighter blue if I have the opportunity to do so, which I think I do. And now I'm going to put my wording in, in the banner. So I'm going to go to the text. And I want to make sure first and foremost that I center my text and I'm going to make it a bit, I'm going to make it fit where the banner is. 
And now I'm actually going to make it just bigger or as big as possible that it's going to fit in the banner. And I might just do one thing. So I might even delete this and bring this whole thing down, actually. And then you just make adjustments from there. So like, as you can see, I'm fixing some of the lines. And there is my shepherd fairy design. Very, very simple, very unique, but still very powerful. 